Okay, in this video, we're going to look at routing MIDI signals in Pro Tools. Now, routing MIDI in Pro Tools is a little bit more complicated than just routing audio. And the reason is you're dealing with two different kinds of data. First, you've got the control signal or MIDI data, and that is how the MIDI notes are communicated to the instrument, whether that's a physical device or a software instrument. And then the second thing is the audio signal, and that's how the physical device or the software instrument returns its audio signal back into the Pro Tools session. When we're dealing with virtual instruments, there are really two configurations that you can use. The first, which is a bit obsolete at this point, is to, is to use a MIDI track to record and edit your MIDI data, and then an auxiliary input to host the virtual instrument that the MIDI data will be sent to. So let's take a look at how that works. So you can see in this example I have a MIDI 1 track and AUX 1 track. On a MIDI track, the I.O. section is actually dealing with MIDI data and not audio data. So that's something that's unique to the MIDI track. Now on the input side of things, you can see that I'm currently set to all. And this is really the way that you want to go. What that will do is that will take the MIDI data from any of your connected input devices and it will route it to whichever channel happens to be record enabled. Now, if I wanted to play the MIDI data from this track to a plugin on the AUX, what I would do is I would first go and create this virtual instrument on the AUX track. In this case, let's use the MIDI Grand. We can press a few keys here just to make sure that the signal is routed properly. Okay, and that sounds fine. So now when we go back to our MIDI Tracks I.O. section and we go to the output assignment, you'll see that the MIDI Grand now appears as an output destination in that list. So I can select it here, and now my MIDI Track is ready to play the MIDI Grand that's hosted on the AUX track. Okay, so you can see that the MIDI data on this MIDI 1 track is now routed through its output over to the MIDI Grand virtual instrument. It receives the MIDI note data and then creates the piano sound, which is then routed down through that auxiliary input. That's a pretty complicated way of dealing with virtual instruments. There's actually a much better way, and that is to use the instrument track. Now what the instrument track does is it actually combines the capabilities of the MIDI track and the auxiliary input onto a single track. And it's actually quite intelligent. If I go to the inserts on the instrument track and I go ahead and choose a different virtual instrument like Expand 2, what you'll see is that the instrument section of the channel strip will automatically route the MIDI data to that first created virtual instrument, which is Expand 2. Now I could route that manually, but I generally don't need to. Now, if you're not seeing that instrument panel on the instrument track, what you may need to do is come down here to the Mix Window View selector and enable it. And these Mix Window Views are something we'll be talking about in the next video. So simply by inserting the virtual instrument onto one of those inserts, I'm ready to play the MIDI data on the track. And in this instance, we actually see the MIDI activity up there in the instrument panel, but we can see the audio data coming from Expand on the channels meters. So those are the two different ways to route MIDI to virtual instruments in Pro Tools.